again, Alexander with Prestige Dog Me School and the Everyday Pet Grimmer. Today I'm going to be showing you easy, round, cute, Shih Tzu style face. And also this is day three of our seven days of educational videos in light of COVID-19 to help inspire you guys and help you get through this challenging time. And also we're issuing every day a new positivity challenge, which I will issue after this video. So whatever length you did the body in, it's very important to set your head with that length. So I'm lightly going over the top of the ears and really wrapping my clippers around the base of that skull around those ears. Then I'm taking out a portion of the chin hair. This is going to save us so much scissoring time and help the sides of the face lay down nicely. Do not cut into the sides of the head, but really wrap around those ears. This is going to save a ton of time. Now I've got a 5 8 guard comb and I'm going in reverse along the skull. Remember, you need to do this thoroughly. The better and more you do clippering, the better it's going to look. Now as I come down the sides of the skull, it's important not to cut into the muzzle hair. So I'm coming down the side of the skull without cutting into that front muzzle. I'm going very gentle over the front muzzle and then come forward towards the ear on that front muzzle. And then I'm going reverse underneath the chin just to get those extra areas. Now with these very short nosed breeds, I'm fine with clippering them, but of course you can use thinning shears. I like them very nice and short. I think this exposes their eyes really nicely, but if you have a longer bridge nose dog, I wouldn't suggest doing that. I like to start my scissoring by combing up the sides of the head and I'm just scissoring with a curved shear straight up and down and then I'm setting that jawline. See how we're setting that jawline? So create that nice moon shape on the side. So a very blunt jawline is what I like to do and that's possible because we did the clipper work all around the head first. Now I'm setting the sides of the eyes by combing everything forward, touching up my jawline here, and just making sure the sides of the head are nice and tidy. So notice we haven't touched at all the top, and now I'm just touching up anything on the muzzle there. And now I'm going to get that center of the brow that hasn't been touched yet. And I'm just going straight up and down, back and forth, sort of like a windshield wiper not trimming lots of length off. I'm just going back and forth, combing forward, back and forth, just making sure nothing's falling into the eyes. Now I've combed the top of the head up and I'm just very lightly dusting this. I'm just dusting it. These guys don't always have a lot of volume to their hair, so it's important to do this step a little bit gently. I'm coming back with my, in this case, a four blade and just lightly touching up the base of the skull. The more you do with clippers, the faster your grooms can be and saves you a ton of scissoring. Now I'm lightly dusting the top again, just to blend all this in. Again, I'm doing it lightly. We want that nice round look. So to get that, we need that round, fluff on the top of the head. So now that my sides of my head, the top of my head are done, now I'm going to come in and comb all the hair forward in front of the nose and completely remove it. Everything in front of that nose, remove, and then the hair on the front lips as well. I like that very, very short. That instantly is going to shorten your face up and make it really easy to now come in and just finish off that moon shape that you've already done. Now I'm just softening that moon shape with my thinning shears. Because we took out the bottom jaw for the most part, this is really easy and this face is going to lay really, really nicely. So I'm just coming and with my thinning shears, just softening everything. So I'm not taking a ton of bulk out, I'm just softening that outer layer. Now from an above view, comb your face out and do the same thing. See how we're looking at her face from above? 
So I'm pulling her face down, combing out, and then getting anything, sweeping with my thinning shears, getting anything that's sticking out. That's going to have this face just lay the way it should and not pop up once she gets up and shakes and does her thing. So now I'm just fixing up the little goatee part that's left, making it round into her cute little face. And then I'm just going to take a look at her face and see if I love it. And that is a cute little round Shih Tzu style face. And I am Dana Alexander with the Everyday Pet Groomer. I would like to invite you guys to join our Facebook group and YouTube channel, The Everyday Pet Groomer. And also I'm going to issue positivity challenge number four, which is to do something kind for your neighbor. Please share your experiences on our positivity challenge post in the Everyday Pet Groomer Facebook group. Stay safe and stay fiercely passionate.